Oh wait, wait, I've just started it. We're in your house. You get to do the intro. Now you do it. Now you, you do, do it. it. No, no, listen. Yeah, I don't We're in your house. You. I don't this, remember how this you is intro. the first time we've done the pod away from my house. We did the tattoo shop. Yeah, this is us away, away we, down your house. Oh, um, obviously, we were supposed to do it at my house tomorrow. Yeah. Work's been all over the gaff, so now we're doing it on our... We're going to have a night with the wives. They're downstairs cooking and we're up here. Are we playing now? Yes, yeah, recording, yeah. Oh, this is Richard Graham, the Fight Talk Podcast. I'm here with a uh, handsome-looking <laughs> Sam O'Reilly. Thank you very much. Pleased to meet you. How are you all? And we have a uh, horse-sized dog scratching at the door. Yeah, you, you can tell people you've got a new dog. We've got a new dog. His name's Gary. <laughs> his name's Gary. <laughs> you rescued a dog from Battersea. Yeah. He is the size of a horse already at nine months the pictures old. pictures don't do him justice. The problem is, you look at him and you think, he looks like a staff, staffy size. He's the size of a German Shepherd. Mm. He's fat. pretty scary. He's, he's, he's a big motherfucker. He attack you, he attacks yeah. me. Yeah, I know. He's, I'm alright with him. Me and him are cool. <laughs> <laughs> you've got problems, Gary. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah, man. Man like Gary, yeah, but like it'll be alright, isn't he? Like, young. Uncle G, baby G, yeah, look, can't wait for him to get bigger and attack me then. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> is, this is weird, mate. This is the first time we've been... Is That's not him coming up the stairs, is he? He can't break through doors. I'm, I'm like, bye! <laughs> the dog's scaring me! No, I think he's alright, he's going to... He's... Mate, is he headbutting the door? Oh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> <laughs> shit! Your dog... No, no, you're in our So, earlier on... We're still I, recording, just yeah, so Earlier on, yeah. I let him out in the garden. Wait, well, after he attacked me again. So I put him in the garden. Your own dog might be the death of you. Yeah, well, listen. We rescued a dog, we did a good thing. It's cold. <laughs> like, we put, I put him in the garden, let him cool down a little bit. He <laughs> ran, go, go outside, gal. Go chill out, I, mate. I put him in the garden, he ran to the garden, then run full pelt back at the door, <laughs> and hit the fucking window. Boom! Oh, mate. And I looked at that, and he was just staring when, through when, the window. When I, when, I knocked, like, when I knocked on the door, I heard, whoa. I was like, mate, did he buy a dog or a lion? What's happened here? <laughs> the thing is, the pictures don't do it justice, do they? Nah, like, it, his, his head is phenomenal. You've all seen Jax. He's on my social media. Yeah. He would. Jax looks like a can of Gary's dog food. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Jax is like 25 kilo. You reckon he's 50 kilo, that dog? They, they, they said to me he will be above 50. He'll go 50 plus. <sighs> He's like, he's like I was going to take mastic. a picture of him, but I, I want to ask his permission first because he's just <laughs> fucking hell. He's like the size of a ball massive. I'm glad you see him do that shit to me because yeah, no, it happened to me on my he's, own. He's petrifying, bro. Beck was never there and he kept grabbing me. I was like, I don't really know what to do here, but then he grabbed it tighter and tighter and then eventually grabbed my leg. And I think, I don't really know what to do. Yeah. And then the crazy thing is... When you rescue a dog from kennels, it's, it's hard for them, isn't it? It's an adjustment. They come with stuff. They come with stuff, mm. so... We've got some work to do on him, but I think it'll cool be show. worth it. But yeah, that's it. It's a good he, thing. He's going to be a good boy. You've done a good thing, and um, you're going to enjoy him anyway. Um, do you know what? There ain't been a lot of boxing, really. I have been you, switched you, off from boxing well, you, for months. Well, you went on on Boxing Day, right? Yeah. To Australia or Vietnam, you did everything. You you essentially so went. Making it. You went travelling. You're a bit of a cunt. I you went. went, you went tra no, you think no. No, I told way. you. There's no. It can't be a holiday. There's a cut-off point. If you go over two weeks, you're you're travelling. Nah. Nah, yeah, you do. Is, oh, who has a seven-week holiday, bro? Who has a four-week holiday? Nah, mate. It's, 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 you, you went travelling, nah. in my eyes. <laughs> you, you went travelling. It's just a cheeky holiday. Nah, it's a cheeky, a cheeky holiday. It was a cheeky, cheeky week. Grant holiday. A cheeky <laughs> week in Vietnam, followed by a cheeky six, five, six weeks in Australia. How was it good? Yeah, it was nice. It was good. It I looked, got fat. It, it looked lovely. Yeah. Your, your fat is different from my fat. You know what I mean? <laughs> I um, went for a run at the beginning of the week, right? I went to train for months, yeah. Did a mile and a half and had to have a walk. Mate, bear in mind, I've done, I've done an Ironman before. I did a fucking mile and a half on Monday, Tuesday. Felt like I was going to die. So, Can shit, you hear, breathing? Yeah. Can you hear him breathing through the door? You hear him breathing from downstairs. Oh, my days. So I went for this, I did a mile and a half. Sounds like a gremlin. Mate, don't call him that. Can you hear him? Go away, Gary. Scaring, nothing here for you, Gary. scaring us. <laughs> So, anyway, I felt like shit after I thought, oh mate, I felt I used to be and I just done a mile and a half run and felt like I was going to die. I finished off and did two miles and some sprints, yeah. but I felt like death. So yesterday I thought, well, I ain't fucking having that and I did four miles and felt good. Probably did not bad times, they were probably like eight and a half minute miles. Honestly. I am, um, my work changed, I'm, I'm on, on days, I'm on a day day shift. You were doing days down a boxing club, weren't you? Uh, well, I was, but I'm now working, working day shifts for the first time in... I'm going to say five years. My night work got put on hold, so they've put me on days and I despise it. But before that, I'd had a nice little routine. Like the boys will tell you, I'd walk his gym. I've been up there, 
I was up there two, three times a week, like grafting, yeah. slimmer than Jack Healy. Everyone's slimmer than Jack Healy. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I was enjoying it, man. And, and Gary, Gary's slimmer Gary, than Jack Healy. Gary Wilkie is not a nice man. You told me he was the nicer Wilkie brother. Oh, mate. You were wrong. He's he an made animal, it. Really. He made it his ambition to fucking you know ruin. The kind me. of shit he used to say to us. He'd be like, "Do a plank, you mate. You do like a fifteen-minute plank, and he'd yeah. be going." Manny Pacquiao does it for an hour. I'm, I'm not Manny Pacquiao. Well, do you know what? He, he had me doing the same as ID. I said, ID's about to fight for a Southern Area title. I'm a fat lad who works on the railway. Don't worry about me, mate. But I've I done, um, done a stone in like two and a half, three weeks. But then my work's changed and it's fucked me up. So I miss the gym, but I will be back to them as soon as I'm on nights. I'm not, I, I don't out and that thinking I'm bottling it because I ain't. I miss it already, but yeah. I mean, I'm not, didn't want to say anything. No, nah, honestly, I'm, yeah. I told Lou I'll smash him up within three months. Yeah. So that's why Lou pulled out. The fact that you are 110 kilos and Lou's fucking <laughs> 45 kilos. 40 kilos, bless him. That's he like, weighs less than Gary. <laughs> Most <laughs> Gary Gray. <laughs> um, Your hand no. tattoo look from the last podcast. That was the last podcast. It was 23rd of December. That way. Mm -hmm. We're talking. And just think, in that time, there's at least a dozen new podcasts related around I haven't boxing. been here, so yeah. I don't so know listen, why. Like, you mentioned this to me. Yeah, so I said on my social media, I'm going to say the cunt, I'm going to say the C word, I'm going to say cunt a lot. Oh yeah, and I, twice. I am. Yeah. I'm gonna, I am going to say cunt a lot. That's right. But no, no, not if it's in the same sentence, that don't count. It does. The reason I'm going to say cunt a lot, cool. right? I've watched, two in, I've, I've watched two boxing interviews in like seven weeks. And honestly... Like, I just, I kind of needed a little detox from boxing. Although there was no boxing matches, there was no fights, there was nothing that really grabbed me. So I haven't actually missed much. No, you ain't missed many fights, but all the fucking embarrassing bullshit in the middle. Like, all about the Joshua and Wilder potential split, the Joshua... There are grown men, right? Listen to this. There are grown men who are having arguments with other grown men about how much each well, man should get paid. another grown man... Yeah, get paid. they're sitting there, right, arguing with people they don't know on the other side of the country or wherever about what a different man should get for fighting someone. When did it become your business, you fucking cunt? Whoa, <laughs> your dog scares me. <laughs> Mate, he's at the door, he knows we're in here. Do you know what he's like? What's the fucking Jurassic Park we, when, we, they're, when they're trapped in rooms yeah. and they can hear claws coming from Yeah. <laughs> we, didn't do, we should do it, if, you, if, you're, if you're offended by the word cunt, you should probably turn off because it's... Mate, or if you're scared of dogs, because, you know... You're not going to hear them. You're probably going to hear the dog at some point yeah. on this podcast. Is still outside? I don't know. He scares me a little no, bit. I, I, have, I have a real, real, real problem with so-called boxing fans who really get involved in the percentages. Stay in your lane. And, and what, what does it matter to you? Like, yeah. let's have it right. If you and me are going to fight and you're saying... I'll give you a tenner and I'm taking nothing, right? But what, what does it matter to anyone else? Like, yeah. I will never understand how boxing fans have really cared. Like, when did they, they start to really care? When did, care. That, when did that start to matter to them? Deeply within their souls, they care. Well, Fury has to get 50% split. Isn't it, he Eddie, has to get isn't it Eddie Holmes he, been oh like, sort of God, letting bro. people know a bit more about what people are getting paid and stuff? Isn't that, isn't well, that, I'm sure. I guess so, yeah, because Dillian might dug him out for it. He said, why are you putting my business out there saying what, what I... I should be getting and so on and so forth when the, the Joshua fight was offered to White. Yeah. He turned it down and he's like, why are you telling... Can I say, right, listen, with this fight that's just been announced of AJ, I was on that radio station and they went to me, who's he going to fight next then? Fury or World? I was like, none of them. I said, what they're going to do is they're going to get some American who hang around the stadiums for a little while, go to a few gyms, take a few photos, tell everyone how great he is, and then after a while, rather than fight one of them, he's going to fight this random American and what's happened? Now, I guarantee to you, soon... Anytime soon, another random American's gonna turn up, yeah. and everyone's gonna be like, "Yeah, but he's got the same record as AJ." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm sure he has. Just like fucking Lemieux had the same record as Golovkin. Trust me, because he's knocked out 27 of his cousins. Does not mean he is the same as a world world class fighter. Mm. That's exactly what they've done. Babe Miller may be a threat. He may listen at that uh, weight. He's not. No, he's, threat, that, he's got his diabetes, weight. mate. His cholesterol <laughs> level is disgusting. Weight, at that weight, anyone can get knocked out. Completely agree. But listen. No one wants to see that shit. No one wants to see that shit. Let's be honest. Oh, they can't have bollocks. Do you know bollocks. what? I know, just come I know back three people that are going to New York for this, you know? My mate messaged me and was like, Rich, should we go over And I was like, it's a great deal, mate, but... I'll I'm be just, honest. It's not the fight I want to I see. I ain't stand up till 4am to watch that fight. I'm okay with... Or, or, or 2, 3am because it's in New York. I'm okay with him taking these fights. I'm okay with that. But... Gary? There's fights that Gary? people want to see. <laughs> Gary? Gary? Is he causing trouble, babe? 
What's the situation? Attack it. It's not attacking my missus, is it? I'm just going to ramp while you... No, he's not. Oh, wow. Why did you let him in there? He didn't. He has not it open. He's <laughs> shut. Oh, wow. Three times. Do no. not touch him while he's doing that. No, I can't get him off. What have you got in your hand? Treats, because I've been bribing him with them. Yeah, keep bribing him, man. <laughs> he just takes shit and you can't stop him. He's too big. He hit that's it open. I did that about three times, and he's got the penguin. And I was like, Martin, what am I gonna do? He claimed it. He Bruh! Knows. This is all on podcast. Uh, no, do you know? There's no edit points anyway. So, as well with podcasting, there is a situation. <laughs> he's stolen Gary, Mrs. Penguin. Gary Gray has stolen a penguin, and he's refusing to give it up. And oh my God. no one has the balls to take it. Is he, is off he the fucking dog. it up? Is he fucking it up? Do you want me to take it off the dog? He's just carrying it. Get a photo, babe. Get a photo. Do you, no, me, no, do you want me to take the penguin off the dog? No, man, he'll bite Do you want me to be... No, I, he don't know, I could be a dog trainer. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, I could be a dog whisperer. May the, may the odds be, no, give him a treat. Good boy. Good boy. Please say Is he giving no. up penguin? That's no, the question. Me. He's got it. No. Sit down. <laughs> oh, he listens to you, man. He Look does. At her she her runs... Your, your wife runs it, mate. The, I don't... Good luck to her. Good luck to her. I ain't getting a one-on-one -on -one with him. <laughs> You should have nicknamed him Cheeky. Mate. Because you're scared of him. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go down in the first round as well. <laughs> um, where were we? Don't we? look at me like that, bro. What were we ranting about? Right, we was ranting about... AJ. I was ranting about AJ taking his fights that no one really wants to see. I get it. I get it. I do get it. Money, yes. You're going to get paid a hell of a lot more to totally get it. I do get that. And I, I, honestly, from the, bo from the business side of boxing, he made a good choice. He really did. But... He's, he's, his stocks are going down so quickly. They are going down. Because the of stocks what? are going down massively. The Wilder Fury fight was the worst thing that ever happened to Joshua. I think they knew that. It was the worst thing. Because, like... He's not on a pedestal now. He's just equal to everyone now. Yeah. You know, he talks about, I want to be undisputed in that. The, the proof is that the money situation and how it got all muddied and this offer, that offer. Again, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Can we start back and just say, I've just discovered and I'm just... Just because it's... The dog's head button doors open in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that this, this podcast might be the last thing that you ever, you know, this is the last thing Richie did, Gray did before he was mauled by a new dog. <laughs> in his sleep. <laughs> in his sleep. Mate. How are you going to keep him out of your bedroom? I'm not. It's just going to, he's now, Bex is now his I'm wife. <laughs> he's yours now. <laughs> she has a new husband. <laughs> I've been coming to sleep in the garden. It seems safer. It might be safer. But you think, you think it's not breaking into my house. I'm going to break out of my house. <laughs> I'm trying to break out. Um, but, but yeah, to, to sum it up. I'd, he's back. He's back. He's outside. Bye. He's all right. Where's the dog? Right. It'd be alright. Can you pause that for a sec? Alright, if you want me to pause it. Yeah. I'm going to have to try and do something. Alright. Um, I have no idea where we were. You were too busy with this fucking... Guardian? <laughs> Guardian! Guardian! <laughs> Don't call his name, man. You're pretty much. Yeah. You're, you're petrified of your own dog. This is fucking mad to see. <laughs> I was scared of the dog, but you got to be careful with him. I've got to know my boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper it. Guardian! Guardian! Um, I don't even know where we were, but... We was complaining about AJ because complaining about the AJ fight. Shit. It's 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 a fight no one really cares about. Like no hardcores care about it. Big baby Miller's an embarrassing. Like he's fucking fat, and he. No, nah, he's well good. He's been hanging around stadiums for the last six months. Yeah, so that's true. He's on Soccer AM. He's on Soccer AM. He just scored like a penalty. Did, just like I did with Joseph Parker. Mhm. Mm I said that then. Yep. It's um. It's a fight at the end of the day. Yeah. At least I get the money, but I'm bored. Fury, um, Wilder, and all. Um, it just doesn't excite me. The fight. No. These fights don't exist. Do you know what? Someone put something up the other day. AJ going, I'm the A-side, I don't need to go to America. And then yeah, there's yeah. an interview of him going, yeah. we've always had to go there, let's go there. So he won't go to America to fight to become the undisputed champion, mm -hmm. but he'll go to America to fight some guy. Yeah, it just shows you how his stock is entirely different. This is what you're talking about. Interested in trying to conquer America? No. <laughs> Are you interested in trying to conquer America? No, I'm not interested. And then what happens six months later, four months later, whatever it is? You're going to America going to fight to America. someone that's not the best American. Not the best American. Is he in the top three because Bri or top two because Dominic Brazil, but Joshua's beat him. It's it's difficult. I don't know. It, when once we knew Fury and Wilder weren't happening, any other fight was irrelevant. Do you know what I mean? We didn't care about any other fight. What I do find bizarre is 
They announced Wembley five months ago and now he's going to America. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think they were trying to entice him in. Who, uh, Fury or Wilder? Wilder. Yeah, probably. Come and fight at a stadium. Look, we've got it booked already. It's all... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't give a fuck, if I'm honest. I don't give a fuck. Get the fight and tell me when they're in the ring. All this other bullshit that goes before it, I don't really give a fuck about. The public don't need to know the politics anymore. No, they don't. Why do they need and to know this is social media going mad and going too far and the access we have to promoters. And we all love an Eddie interview. Eddie's fucking funny. It's great. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But it's now gone that far that you're just... You feed me waffle. Do you know what I mean? You're throwing bullshit at me that I don't need to know about until you can say, fight's done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The rest of it's all bollocks. And all it is is us fucking idiots on Twitter talking about it. Well, it might happen, it might happen. He might get this, he might get... No one cares. No one cares that until the actual fight is about to take place. So what is all this other bullshit? Well, it's not necessary. Yeah. It's fucking doing my head in, Richard. I'm telling you. Since you've gone away, mate, I've started to really fucking dislike boxing. And it's because there's no fights. I need a fight to happen that I really care about. Yeah. And nothing's happening. So do all the care, other... What do, you, do you care about the guy with you back or... I th- I By the way, guys, listen, me and Sam haven't actually seen each other mm. since I've been away. Since the last podcast. It's the first time we've seen each other, so each other isn't it? This yeah. is like a catch-up Did we well. FaceTime once when you was in yeah, Australia? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that was nice. It was a good night. I don't know why you got your dick out. I think but... I selfied it as well. Yeah. Like, I took a screenshot. Did you? It was beautiful. Yeah, it was a nice moment. Um, it was. What do you think about but this New Bank De Gaulle thing? I think it's a good fight, man. I like, and, and I can't call it because I think De Gaulle is the better boxer and I don't think there's a doubt about it. But is he still the same boxer? Yeah. Pedigree wise, you know, Olympian, Olympic yeah, bronze medalist yeah, yeah. and former world champion twice. And he's a better boxer. I don't think there's a doubt, but is he still that man today? New band still wants it more than that. Than yeah, he does, and, and he has a much better work rate because James has been terrible at taking rounds off. He's done that for a lot. Like, yeah. Even at his heights of his career, when he was defending his world title against the Porky Medinas, and he would take rounds off. And I believe if you give rounds to Eubank, he'll get more and more confident. Do you know what I mean? And his work rate is is unquestionable in my opinion. He he, he throws a lot of fucking punches. Yeah. And I don't think the girl's jab is as good as Groves was to keep him away and push him back. And but what he does have is the angles. You know what I mean? He he picks a great shot. He has a, a lovely little screw uppercut. Yeah. That the prime the girl would land. That could land against the Eubank when he's rushing in. But it's a, it's a great fight. Honestly, I think it's a very good fight. It's an intriguing fight. And I think the only way we will know what the girl has left is on the night that's the only way to predict but it's hard to predict rather but i'm saying if the, the girl has aspirations to do more on the world level he has to prove it against a eubank what, what do, you, do, you, do you i like the fight i do like the fight i feel like it's a little bit it's a little bit like where they're both sort of what's the what, what's what's happening right now with you two what's happening right now why, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> why have you just written in the group to the girls, can you bring two beers, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're podcasting, man. We're busy. Yeah, we're busy. I mean, you were just petrified of the dog on the podcast, but yeah, getting to bring two beers. <laughs> if I go downstairs, that's going to kick him off. He seems to have been calm for the last two and a half minutes. Yeah. And like Gary. Gary. <laughs> Either one of my wives are coming up or the dog. Yeah. That's the thing. You wouldn't bear to tell the difference. You can't tell the dog the is as big as a human. He is. Is a knock on the door. If the door opens, I'm going to lose the dog. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's a human. Not Gary. It's not Gary. We're still recording. Thank you, wife. Thank it's you. Don't be too long. Dinner's ready. So. They can, oh, they, we haven't called many people cunts yet. They can definitely hear you on the podcast as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, wife. Um, all right. The text and technique worked, by the way. It did. Well Just done. Fair so play. Cheers. 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 Good to see you. Protein bit. This is, um, this is not a normal podcast by any means of the, by any stretch of the imagination um but we kind of needed to get something out i needed to get a lot of shit off my chest and the thing i need to get off my chest i'm glad it was just me i've been away and i'm thinking oh, i'm missing boxing what's going on why is nothing happening but nothing's mm. been happening the same shit. richie i promise you the same old bullshit in the time you were away i watched two interviews and that was george groves retirement because oh, i say that broke my heart yeah still upset a little bit cut up and the dillian white when eddie Hearn walked in so i wanted to see the I interviews see just how awkward that was i see that Apart from that, I haven't watched anything. I've listened to one podcast. That was New Age Boxing's last podcast. I've listened to that. Exceptional. Yeah, it was nice to hear that. Yeah, it was. It was was a great podcast. Um, It was good. But I've I've got some shit to get off my chest. I really do. Um, Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Are you ready to rent? Yeah, some people are getting it. You haven't C-bombed enough. You've only actually said the cunt word about five times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to go in now because 
Should I just leave you and sit back? Yeah, you can just go. You can go and I'll ride go and Gary. Go and and ride s- Gary around Brentwood. I'll put a fucking saddle on him. Yeah. I have a problem with a lot of shit going on within within boxing, right? And it's the fact there are there are now too many podcasts. Are you jealous, though? But what am I jealous of, bro? I'm just saying, someone else might ask that. I'm no. not asking the question. My problem, right, when I say too many, right? Do you feel threatened by them? But I'm no one anyway. Uh, no one can threaten me because I'm no one anyway. That's fine. Like, we, 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 we very oh, much yeah, we right. very much have our lane. Right. We have a few little people that listen to us. And I appreciate every one of them I don't who mean interact. They're little people. I think they're really no, nice. I don't mean they're little people. Small people in my life. <laughs> sm- when I say it, I mean a small circle of people yeah, 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 that yeah. listen to us regularly. And I was like... Honestly, I'm just trying to make you uncomfortable. Yeah, you can't make like, like the dog does to me. Yeah, <laughs> and I appreciate every person who listens to this podcast deep down, honestly, that we give up our time and they take give up their time to listen to it and, and then interact. It's fucking honestly, I appreciate it so much. When I say there's too many podcasts, at the end of the day, anyone can pick up something like this and record, and I have no problem with it. My problem comes when you're saying nothing or you're saying too much. So there are podcasts that are starting that is purely to feed their own agendas and propaganda. Like it, You can't tell me, you can't fucking tell me pound for pound podcast isn't Matchroom. It, it's Matchroom FC. And I hate that term as well. But uh, Jake, wait, wait, mate, the day Max Brannan is sitting there and he's getting Matchroom fighters on and telling me this. Shut your Who mouth, bruv. You're Max Brannan. Shut up, bruv. Jake Wood. And he sits there with Spencer Oliver. They do the pound for pound podcast. I don't know them other people are. Spencer Oliver, you know Spencer Oliver? Yeah, Oliver. Spencer Oliver yeah. is the other thing. Jake Wood is the bald ginger cunt, ginger fucking bitch. Isn't he bald and ginger? B- bald and nut, ginger <laughs> dope, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Max yeah. Brannan, bruv, come on. Nah. You don't know? Nah. Well, fuck it. <laughs> the oh, dinosaur is back. The dinosaur's at the door. <laughs> no, but listen. If you guys can hear that's it, a match, like... that's a matchroom podcast. That That is a matchroom podcast, right? And it even features the likes of Coogan Cassius, who is a. He's an impartial interviewer, yeah? The wife's brave. That's fine. He's an impartial interviewer. Yeah. Yeah, he's linked to a podcast that is, so, it definitely, in my opinion, is centralised around matchroom boxers and shows. You then, Boxing Social, Rob Tebbett. Do you think you would be safe? Though? Good friend of mine. Rob Tebbett, very, very good friend of mine. He sent me something last night that I really appreciated. Thank you very much for that, Rob. I love you very much. I'll, just show you, I'll tell you about it after. I love Rob. Lovely human being. I don't understand why they've got um, like a podcast because they have Dave Allen on it. Dave Allen's a good friend of mine. Love Dave Allen. It's basically Dave Allen's opinions on certain thing and then interviews running through the podcast. So is that a podcast? Is it? I don't know. I've not listened to it. The, I honestly believe the word podcast has become diluted. I think it's become polluted with dog shit, with people that don't know their artists from their elbow, which, listen, they could say we don't. It's opinions that you're saying. I had seven fights, I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Have I not beaten one of them? I had two white collars, I'm just saying. You <laughs> I didn't break or anything, but I've had seven fights. <laughs> but it doesn't mean our opinion is more relevant than anyone else's. That, that's also yeah, not my problem. Yeah, yeah. Then you have Matthew Macklin and Andy Clark, your old mate, Andy Clark. They just started a podcast. Why was I not invited to that, Andy, bro? Well, let's, we'll go into that first. Because fuck me, Matthew Macklin tweeted. This is just our thing. This isn't, you know, anything to do with anything else. Andy Clark is a Sky employee, and Matthew Macklin is where fucking MTK Global used to be called what? Yeah, well, they're oh, right. no, it's short for it's short for Mac the Knife. Yeah. It's him. Yeah, he brands him. So he brands him. Himself. So don't tell me you don't have a horse in that race. Talking about horses, is that Gary at the door? No, he's not here. The, the, the problem is there are too many podcasts. There are podcasts popping out of the woods. My people that I really of respect and I, I consider them friends they're doing podcasts and fair play to them but nowadays it's got to the point where people aren't just giving an opinion like all of us are they're feeding some other propaganda they're saying it for a reason do you understand what I mean and that's my problem like if you're a promoter like Goodwin Boxing they do ring talk 100% it's a great idea nowadays get your podcast out of there get yeah all right dinner's ready the starters ready um, we'll pause it here and we'll yeah. get, we're going to get back to Goodwin. We're going to get back to Goodwin. Right, well, let's record again. Right, we're back, we're back. We're back. We was on... In, we went on a three course meal. Yeah. Cooked by your wife. Yeah, which is lovely. Um, oh, fucking Jez Smith just got stopped by Samuel, Samuel Antwi for the Southern Area title. 
Yeah. Should we not lift up from where we was and then get to that eventually? No, just, but that just happened. We was Have on, you got your phone muted? We was on... Um... She just texted me your mum from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> That's in my group as well. That must, that means my mum as well. Of both Have of our seen, mums. Have you seen my mum? Bruh, you better... Liberty. You think the dog's scary? <laughs> um, right, let's carry on where we were. I was saying about Goodwin's show, Ring Talk. It makes perfect sense, right? Good for them, yeah. Of course it is, because you, you're, you're advertising your own product, They're you're pushing your own product. With it, with them. Exactly. Don't, but just don't fucking feed me lies. Call, don't call yourself a podcast and just be propaganda for a different organisation. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just... People are fucking idiots, mate. Like, do they think we're stupid? They're either saying too much or they're not saying enough. And that's the problem I've got. There's too many podcasts... Too many people wanting to get involved at this stage because they feel like boxing's booming. They feel like they can get involved now. Um, and what are they really doing for boxing? What are they doing for the sport? What are they actually offering? What are they really doing? All right, son. All right, horse. There's a horse next to. There's a there. horse sitting next oh, to me. You're gonna have to just. I ain't making eye contact. You, I'll be, make, I'll be yeah, real. look. Oh, he's chilling. He's chilling. That's a. Boy. Oh, this is the dream, babe. <laughs> the dream. All right. So just don't don't scare it away. Just don't say his name. Don't say his name. We've spoke about him so much. Though. Yeah, this, that's, this podcast has got to have his name in the title. Yeah. Um, he's a good boy. But no, that's my problem. There's too many podcasts, too many people ain't offering nothing to the sport. They're literally doing it for their own gratification, their own fucking egos. And it's all bollocks at the end of the day, and I'm sick of it. I know what you're saying. When you started out, you were just trying to help the, the small hall boys with their yeah. interviews and stuff, and then you'd go talk about it on your podcast. So it was relevant. It was relevant to what you were doing. And now you're saying people are just popping up and doing it for the sake of it. Hundred percent. Do you know? Because they think they know about boxing. Yeah, and they want to be involved because it's the it, it's the done thing. Yeah, the done thing. But is to really, get they're just giving their opinion like we are. It, yeah, they are. All yeah. I'm saying is, all the only reason I'm saying that is because no, it's true. Someone will then end up saying it on Twitter no, anyway. Of course, they'll yeah, say, of course they will. Who do you two think you are then? No, but I 100 percent agree with that. We're, we're not saying we're, we know more. We're just someone with opinions, and I don't mind that. But my problem is when you're you're feeding the proper when it's for an agenda. You're saying you're, it's for an agenda. Yeah, you're not saying it's two random people that watch boxing come together. You're talking about an organisation has put two select people together to try and yes convince the yes. public of something. That pound for pound sums it up. I don't get specific platforms having podcasts. I don't. I think you've watered down the term podcast when you start doing that. Um, it's different. It's it's difficult. It's a craze. It's a trend. It's trendy to be in a podcast. If two boys that have never got, if they ain't got any followers, they got no following, they want to talk about boxing. Go for it, man. Why shouldn't they? But when you start doing it for the simple propaganda, f- yes, you're just you're. That's listen, it. people are fucked off of getting ripped off in boxing. And it's just, it's only further in that. Yeah, man. That's the problem I have. And it goes the same as platforms. I don't go to big match room press conferences because I'm not willing to queue with 10 other YouTube channels to interview one person. But now, small hall boxing is the same. Yeah. Like, there'll be five, four or five little platforms. Little, just queuing to interview one fighter because it's now the dumb thing and it's a way in. That's fine, but ugh, I don't know. It's got to the point where I ain't got the patience for it anymore. I... I I'll sit there, there'll be a queue of four people to queue a fighter, and they're missing the fights. Like, I got involved yeah. in this because I love the sport, yeah. and to watch the fights, and he, you end up not watching the fights, and it's, it take, it's pointless, mate. It's fucking pointless, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just, I'm fed up with it at the minute. I need something fresh, do you know what I mean, to stay involved in the sport. Well, listen, things might freshen up in the next few months. They might freshen up. You know, you never know. We might have some... We might have some news. We might, we might not. have some stuff. We might not. We may. We may we'll not. We'll see what happens with other stuff. We'll see what happens with other stuff because we might have stuff to bring to this stuff and then this stuff will help the new stuff. Stop saying stuff. So we need this stuff to help the new stuff if the new stuff comes off. That's that's very true. Yeah. So we just, it's worth keeping along this stuff while we work about what we can do with the other stuff. So we can be like everyone else and use this stuff to help. That's propaganda. To <laughs> manipulate the other stuff. <laughs> we should be the biggest hypocrites. We can do this pod. We are biggest hypocrites. So what? We're allowed. It's part of podcasting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's just part forget of it. Everyone this. Else is doing it. If if our thing comes off and then uh, we end up feeding this because of that, just don't don't judge just us. Don't judge us. No, do yeah. judge us. Fuck do it. judge us. Yeah, call us cunts. We like the trolling. Yeah, no, everyone everyone needs trolls. Everyone needs trolls. Like, if you're not getting day, trolled, you're, you're doing something wrong. We don't get trolled that much. I don't think we get trolled. Just troll you. People don't like you. No, G- Ter- G- Grant is it Terry who gets upset when people say good things about the podcast? Oh, Terry. Yeah. Terry, Ter- gets up- Terry trolls us when Terry Chapandama does not like when anyone says my favourite podcast about our podcast. No, he don't like He that. doesn't. He's, he believes that. So I, people I, want to say that to him for I mean, banter. He'll, he'll, he'll yeah. love, he loves to hate it. They're my favourite podcast. But I know he likes us, but I know yeah, that he, he likes to hate it when people say that. Yeah, he loves us, but he's a hater. He's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, what else? There's How a... can you say that? We are the best. Yeah. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, mm-hmm. whoa. No, and then they'll explain why why they're wrong. There's an agenda somewhere that I wrote. What, what else have we got to talk about? You had loads written down. You had some. Oh, let's talk about. Right, there's loads of fights happening in March, right? Mm-hmm. March is a busy time. It's supposed to be Linus Shadofia against Taylor Jones for the Southern Area title. Fight's not happening. Yeah. Because Tay got injured again, or still injured. I don't know if it's again or still injured from, from the previous. But if you're led to believe... Side note, I bumped into someone that knows Tay, who trains with Tay. Mm-hmm. So Tay's been taking boys on the pads, but he has been complaining about his arm. Okay. That's, I found that out beginning of this week. I mean, you could have told me that before I wrote this and, and I was going to say certain things. So it's all yeah, different. Yeah, but, but I'm only telling you this information because something's popped in my head, so you should continue saying what you're saying. Because okay. I don't... What, what I heard, maybe maybe these people have been said told to say, right, listen, Tay's injured. Mm. The problem I have is um, with the whole situation, Lani Shadofi has now lost his Southern Area title fight. You're getting a bit loud in there, girls. They're whispering, bro. No, I'm joking. I was hoping they're, they're like, giving it back on the podcast. Yeah. But they know not to. They know, they know their place. Yeah. Um, where was I? Talking about Linus and the problem. Yeah, Linus has now lost his Southern Area title fight. You know that, right? He's, yep. He can't fight for the Southern Area title now. Yeah. Even though Tay has pulled out on him twice. Yeah. Uh, and I think I think it's wrong. Yeah, but Linus is now fighting another fight against Darren, Darren, Darren Cordona, Cordona. For the, an English eliminator. But this is where the board are wrong doing that. So the, the board wouldn't sanction that for a Southern Area title fight, right? Yet they've sanctioned Liam Dillon against Dave Birmingham for the Southern Area as super featherweight. Even though Dave Berman lost his last fight at lightweight. Yeah. So, make your mind up, man. Like, you can't not... You can't not sanction a guy that was mandated to fight your champion a month ago. But you're mandated... A, 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 someone that's coming off a loss at a higher weight. Like, where does that make sense? That's what... If you're not going to have consistency, what's the point? Take it easy on the board. Take it easy on the board. Don't go too mad into the board. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't use the C word when we talk about the board, no? No, you can't. Okay. Who can I call cunts then? Whoever you feel like calling cunts. Sure, you had a list of people to call cunts, didn't you? I did. People on Twitter that get involved in other men's salaries. Well, he should get this amount. He should... Shut your mouth, bud. You're a cunt. Mind your business. You haven't said that word enough either. Okay. If you're getting involved get in... Get five another... in now, quickly. Go. If you're getting involved in another man's salary, you're a cunt. One. Let a cunt earn his own bread without That's you terrible. involving yourself, you cunt. Three. Um, counting some, the amount of times someone says cunt makes you a bit of a cunt that's fine Four. no I missed one then didn't I yeah you missed it I said cunt five times that's, well there's another one I hope people aren't offended by the word one of us cunts can't count yeah <laughs> this pod has to be called cunts Gary's and something at horses or something <laughs> <laughs> cunts Gary's and horses no, cunts and horses <laughs> This pod is going to be terrible. You know, this is this is a ranting pod. This isn't. This is not our normal. Um, well, there hasn't been a lot of boxing. I've there's been, been away. no boxing. You've been away. Um, my no, work has changed. It was meant to, lot, it was meant to be Lewis Smith listen, tomorrow. You know? The biggest thing I've got to say about boxing at the minute is I'm just bored of this AJ stuff. I just want to see him. I get no, I get it, but I just want to see him fight one of the fights we want to see. But yeah. I get it, but that's that. Um, outside of that. James DeGale and I, Eubank, I, I do like it we, yeah. we've been through that I have a question right you know MTK have just signed uh, Chantel Cameron she had a big fallout with uh, Cyclone yeah, yeah, and McGregor yeah, 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 yeah. do you think right, your opinion MTK do you think they're constant signing people whether they're in this country or the other side of the world whether they're commentators for their IFL shows. Did you get told about that, by the way? That you were getting replaced? No. No. I found out when I see it on social media. So you were on holiday. I was actually on holiday, yeah. You went on holiday as a commentator for IFL. Uh, sorry, for MTK shows streamed on IFL. And you see while you're away that they've replaced you. Signed some people on permanent contracts. Yeah. And you didn't get told by someone you've known for a long time. Mr. Lee Eaton. Who's a good friend of ours, right? Yeah, you listen, love Lee, don't you? Listen, uh, all I can say is that I don't think it was in Lee's control. I, I don't believe it was. I don't believe Lee would. Lee would. I don't. I think I Lee's don't a think top bloke. Lee would consciously go fuck him. I don't think. Would, would you have liked to have been told I first? Think, I would have liked to have been told first. I think that Lee would have said. Lee. Lee. They would have said, right, Lee. We've got this now. This is a. This is the thing. I agree. It would have been nice for Lee to, to ring me, but when the, when the fucking chips are down. 
oh, I was under no contract and yeah. under no obligation to tell me. Yeah. I get it. It's a bit heartbreaking. It's a bit like, oh, mate, like we're mates and geez. The thing that, Lee, when Lee, I saw Lee, it, Lee always gave me the opportunity to do it because he said I was good at it and felt and people liked it. Mm-hmm. And it would have been nice at least to, to someone to say, all right, Rich, listen, this is the reason, but yeah. just be, just this is happening. So I'm just know it's that. That would have been great. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't think it was in Lee's control, but I, I see what you're saying. It would have been nice. To... It would have been nice for Lee to go, oh, Rich, by the way, this is going to happen, so you should yeah, know. When I, when I saw that they they'd announced the commentary team, I just thought, might have been nice to give you a heads up. You know, yeah. I, it felt a bit, listen, I get it, and MTK making all these movements. My question is, are they making a monopoly on boxing? Everyone's been saying that for years, though, haven't they? No, but not years. They haven't, because it's now getting to the point oh, where... But it's getting to the point where they've got so many fighters, they're packing out they've got their own small hall shows but their fighters are now propping up Warren cards and Hearn cards and I don't know I'm concerned I think there's too many I think MTK have got too much control because they control a lot more than people know about they control things that you wouldn't believe and I know mm. firsthand they have control in certain platforms it doesn't take a genius to work it out but they pull the purse strings and they make a lot of the decisions when it comes to a lot of the things that are, that are a big part of British boxing nowadays, you know? So, I think it's dangerous. It could be. I, I think for the sport? Yeah, it could be dangerous for the sport. If, if one person has too much control on it, it becomes a monopoly, doesn't it? Yeah. And it stops being a level playing field. But who knows? I just, that's, just, that's just one of my concerns with, with regards to it. I think they're doing, they've got good people on board. They've got a lot of good people. Like, like I said, Lee, I consider Lee and a friend. Lee's a good bloke. He's a very good promoter. And he's I have spoke to Lee since. I've had a chat with him. You know, I was like, oh, Lee, what's the story? And we had a little chat about it. And, you know, he's obviously like, oh, Rich, you still come to shows, all this, that and the other, which is nice, you know. He would never, I know Lee would never like, not let me go to the shows, you know what I mean? But, mm. like I say, it would have been nice to have been told, but I don't blame Lee. But I just think, yeah, I get it. It would have been nice to be told, but I don't. I, w- I don't ever want to point a finger at Lee because Lee was going to give me the chance to actually do it first in the first place. But I, d- I get it. I, I get it. Like, why give someone an opportunity and then not to even tell them when it's been taken away? I get mm. it. But I can't turn around and complain about it because he gave me the opportunity in the first place. Yeah. I don't think it'll be the end of the commentary for me because I do think gigs will come up here and there still. Yeah. I do think they will. They will do. There's more and more people getting involved in certain aspects and, you know, if I can do commentary, then you could definitely do commentary. I've done it in one or two, or one, one or two places. There'll definitely be gigs for you. I just, yeah, it just, it was one thing that just stuck out in my mind that when it, when it came up, I just thought, I wonder if Rich was sort of given a, given a heads up about that. And no, I actually remember when I, when I found out, I read it on, online. And I was obviously in Australia at the time, and I was like, oh, Beck, to my wife, I was like, MZK has signed some full-time commentators. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, oh, mate, she was like, are you gutted? And I was like, well, I'm a bit gutted, obviously. It would have been nice to have been told, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm sure there'll be more stuff come up. There's, there's maybe, be... maybe, maybe, maybe I could have done something better to stop that from happening. No. So maybe it's my fault. No, it's not because the reason that they've got Barry Jones. They just want listen. They want regular they are professional, voices. But they're, and they're profe- what they want people. What are you saying about me? They, <laughs> they what, want no, people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, let, let me finish no, you, no, cunt. No. Let me finish no. you, cunt. What are you saying about me? If I'm you let me finish you, cunt. <laughs> they, they want people that are not the regular, well voice. associated in the boxing game. It's the same as if you Don't watch. Don't you know who I am, <laughs> bro? I heard you seven fights. Grant. Bro, I had seven fights. Don't you if know? You, six if you watch ITV, yeah. Yeah. ITV now, I guarantee it, they're going to do their pay-per-view next week with the girl in Eubank. And I guarantee half of the people on their pay-per-view will be people you see on BT Sport. Yeah. These these platforms miss a trick. This is the time to get new, fresh faces, build a new commentary team, be in the new fucking 2019. You know what I mean? But they don't. They all recycle them. You've got Paul Dempsey and his hedgehog head. You'll have fucking, um, what's his name? The big lanky bastard. Does World Boxing Super Series. Actually, don't hate him. He talks about stanzas and everything. What's his name, man? I got a fucking clue. Ronald McIntosh. Oh, he, yeah, he does yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah. different platforms. 
Like people, they, they're recycled through all, all the platforms, mate. Yeah. There's an opportunity that they all miss. Yeah, but they all probably know more about boxing than me. Maybe they do. Maybe, <laughs> they, maybe do. they do. But they do know why, more. Why is no one? Why? Why is it accepted that this is the norm? We just go through people that we we've, we've seen. For, Steve Bunce. Steve Bunce is a bell end. Yeah. But we accept it because he's been around for years. Like, oh, mate, it's just you know, it's frustrating that they're not moving with the times. Like a lot of these platforms are not moving with the times. Well. Uh, do you think it's that the younger generation, my generation, me included, are just not educating ourselves enough in boxing to take the Have you had a chance to prove it? I've, I've been given the chance, so yes. But I've so been given the chance many times. Maybe I didn't prove it. So do you think they listened back to your shit and went, he, he ain't good? Maybe they did. Maybe, maybe. I, yes, how many it's times, possible. Maybe times, like, we had a thing, podcast before, and I was like, good, big, and get big, little, and all that, and I was like, they're yeah, fucking better little, and then. Mm. They're like, yeah, all these years' experience they've got for all the knowledge. He's young, he's got, yes, yes, yes. Well, maybe I should have learned more then. Maybe I should have researched more. Maybe I should have just been fucking better. Maybe. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe you could have been a heads up with what you need to improve on if that was the case. Maybe I could get that. I mean, I've always asked people about their opinions, like, what can I have done better? What can I have done better? Mm. And I've been told stuff that people think, you know, everyone says that this could be better, that could be better. And if it's me, I've done something wrong, cool, tell me. I'll make it right and I'll, you'll see me again another day. Mm. But listen, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sitting from the other side listening to it and thinking this kid's shit or no, he's good. Like it's up to the powers that be to make these choices, isn't it? Yeah. And maybe someone of my age, like you say, the younger generation, just don't know enough. You ain't that young, bro. I, no, <laughs> I, I'm not a boxing historian, mate. Like oh, like Tris, like Tris not, Dixon. Did you, let, people, you, let me talk about this quickly. You know Tris Dixon. You know who he is. Yeah. Do you know he's got his own podcast. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Boxing Life Stories. I enjoy it. I really like it. It's good. Do you know he only does it because he hopes it, 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 well, he's only doing it because he believes he should be earning money from it. He's tweeted out and basically complained about, basically what I just said, there's too many podcasts. But yeah. the reason he says there's too many podcasts is because when people as good as his, they, they, he can't get money, he can't get paid and can't get sponsorship and stuff like that. Do you think there's a problem and that proves from the top, somebody, he's been involved in boxing a very long time, yeah? There are people that are only involved in this sport because they know they can get money out of it. Think I'm not saying that's him. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Think they can get money out of it. Yeah. I don't know they can get money out of it. They all think they can. Okay. And just like think. he's finding out, you ain't gonna get. I mean, Tristan's been involved in it for years and years and years, but so he's not the best example. But it just makes me think again. People see all these platforms. They see all of this money being thrown around and spoken about. Do you know what? People tell think people, they can earn money. I have out to of tell it. people all the time how much money boxers don't make yeah i have to explain that to people all the fucking time how much money boxers do not make and the effort they have to go through to make no money and the fact that if they don't put as much effort they're doing not only do they not get paid they have to pay yeah it's just it's, bo it's business before boxing do you think boxing is too accessible not to be a pro in media terms in that you can't just turn around yeah, and go, I'm going to interview a footballer tomorrow. But you can with a boxer. You can message him on no, Twitter. No, 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 that's what makes boxing what it is. Yeah. Working man's sport. You don't think it lets Working people take sport. the piss Wasn't and Wasn't it originally it? like a poor man's sport, if you like? Yeah, but do you, you not think need, it gives... You don't need... Do you not think that leaves it open for motherfuckers who can come in and make... Uh, you know, they can... That's what it's supposed to be. No, but no. But they can rob, they can rob people in the sport it's so much easier. Because they can make... They get access that... Yeah, but you're never going to make that divide because otherwise you're going to end up making it the sport that it's not. You're going to change the sport into something it's not. It's... Do, you not do you not think the sport's changed? Yeah, it's, it's changed a hell of a lot and it will always change and it will change again. It will change again and it will change again and it will change again. It always will. It's just the way the platform or, or the way the layout of the sport is, it will always it will always be that way. It will always change. It will always be who someone will be in control. Yeah. Business before boxing. If it was boxing before business, it would be different. I just think it leaves itself open. It's a sport that the core element is a working man sport, mm. but it leaves itself open. Yeah, but you can't go. Bad, you, all right, you can go bad, to a, um, you can go to a boxing match, yes. and you can bump into most of the fighters if you want. Mm -hmm. You know the right person, or you stand in the right place. You can bump into the bo boxers. You can go and see them training. You can go to their gyms. Most of them, even the fucking world champions, you can go there and you. That's what separates boxing from football. You can't just do that at football matches. 
Yeah. I mean, I've never been to a football match, but what? as far as I know, you can't. How old are you? 28. You've never been to a football match? Oh, I, went, I went to one once for a charity thing. Where the fuck did I go? I went to... Billy Ricky, <laughs> watch Billy Ricky play. <laughs> Fuck you know. Well, they got a good stadium. It's a proper stadium. They got some millionaire who owns the team and all that. I watched Billy Ricky play last year actually. Um, no, I've never been to a football match though. Not a proper one. No. Yeah, I just think with a sport as accessible as boxing, what it does do is de these degenerates that can they can smell a pound note, whether it's off robbing young boxers through sponsorship or purses or whether they promoters or se selling tickets that they never had do you know what i mean it can it can leave a sour taste that it can be as accessible as it is yeah without people having to prove their i, I did it I, listen i'm living proof i started interviewing boxers with no experience the only thing i had was a bit of knowledge because i enjoyed the sport and i talked about it for a little while and then i fell into interviewing boxers that i probably won't do again yeah two fights I did have two fights. Two white collar under fights. Fear. Yeah, mate. You know, don't want to, like don't like to brag about it, but I don't need to brag or anything. But yeah, yeah. two fights. I did, you know what, do I mean? what I mean? Undefeated, but we ain't gonna talk about it. We're not here for me. You know what I mean? It just it, that that's my worry with the sport that its accessibility can also be the negative because the degenerates and the con men can slip straight in and can slip straight out and and rape the sport and the people in it. It's such a double ended knife. Is that? Double-edged sword. Double-edged sword, is that the same? Close enough, son, yeah. Is that the same? Yeah, double-edged sword. Because it needs to be accessible to give boys the dream. Mm. It needs to be that way. To but, give, to give, you know, everyone a chance. And it's the way the sport is supposed to be. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I think it's always been that way. It's just now there's more media, it's more known about. I think it's always been this way. But they've always said the way boxing's this way. Even you ask your older generations, boxing's this, blah blah blah. But now you know more about it. Cause it's media can spread it more because there's phones in everyone's pockets. Everyone's got a phone. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You know. Your first fucking thing when something a fight's made, first thing you do is get on your Twitter and complain about it or talk about exactly. it or praise so, it. Or... So listen, and when there's something you don't like, or this purse thing, people would have talked about purses years and years and years ago, but they'd have talked about it. Now people tweet about it, pub, yeah. so now everyone knows in seconds that John from Altrincham is complaining that Joshua's getting to his fifty. To some guys he's never met called Roy from, from Australia. Yeah, you know it's it's bizarre, isn't it? It is. It's weird. So you can't and some of the drivel that comes out of people's mouths. So no, it's always been there. It's just it's more it's open. Open. It's accessible. It's just the way it is. But it's always it will always social be. media is a mad thing, mate. For all the pros, it has these fucking bizarre cons. Where I I, I tried to stay off Twitter for a few like a few weeks, a month or something, just clear my head a little bit. My Twitter it, game it, gets, is it gets a lot, mate. It gets a lot. I ain't tweet. I don't tweet a lot at the minute, and I, I haven't tweeted really about boxing. A, I just a hell put of the odd like out there every now and then. <laughs> Let them know you're alive. Yeah, that was literally when I was away. I thought, chat. Um, IPTV. <laughs> yes. Adrian Hughes, mate. Yeah. What a guy. Shout out. He messaged me and I actually read it, but I've been so flat out and responded, like, literally. That's, that's so rude. Go on my... Did you blue no, tick no, him? No, 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 no. Did you actually blue tick him? Yeah. He should slap you. Adrian, yeah. I'd never do that to you. Um, shout You'd out, You'd never Adrian. shout him out, either, like I just did. Yeah. Yes, I do, man. Every episode. Yeah, yeah. IPTV. I did, yeah. I, did, I did it. I brought it this time. Adrian Hughes. Just DM him. Just DM him. DM dude. him. For all of your streaming needs. For, for all of your needs, ever. Yeah, he's a top man. Um... <laughs> Yeah, now sometimes you need a break. I'm just hoping that the the, the, the good fights come up and they get Shout me Shout out everyone that's been like, where's the podcast? Where's yeah, the podcast? Yeah. All, of you, all of you guys, like, honestly. And I mean, I, I don't think we expect... We all love Sam, but, you know, without me... It was you, pointless. You know what happens without me here. We've all seen it the, now. The so. plan, right, for anyone who wants to know, the plan was to be back tomorrow daytime, which will be Sunday, with Lou Smith. He was coming. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. But... My work changed. I was booked on to do seven days. Did Lou have questions in? No, I told him not to. Told Why? Him no questions. Why? No, I just wanted Why to cunt... Why are you being so bitter? I wanted to cunt everyone off. Why are you being so bitter? You and me are sitting here, how many beers in? Three course meal done. <laughs> a fucking horse sitting on the couch next to us. <laughs> this is not our usual <laughs> podcast, Rich. This is not the same... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Environment. Environment. It's not the same format. <laughs> It's just a lot of blabbering <laughs> with alcoholic it's beverages basically people consumed. just listen to us talk. We're basically cowboys. We're sitting on a horse, drinking rum. <laughs> Talking about, bye. <laughs> We're out of booze, girls. Bye. What do you want? 
Not a beer. Don't say Prosecco on the podcast. Red wine. Do you want red? I'll have red wine, please. I'll have a Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> so this ain't, the, this ain't the normal format to be sitting there asking the questions. Have I called enough people cunts? That's the concern I have. You did have a list. That's my I concern did have a right list. I, did have, I didn't have a list of names. I just had a, a brief Jesus, topic. What else you got on there? Too many podcasts and platforms. Yeah, okay. MTK Monopoly that I'm concerned about. Yeah, I feel like that's been a thing for a AJ while. AJ Miller and the Splits. AJ Miller. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Anthony, man. Just, just, I get it. I get it. Money. You're making the right choice. If you offered me 30 million to fight a coconut head and you offer me... <laughs> you offer me Casey Blair. Yeah, if you offer me... Casey might listen to this and he's made, I like Casey. made messages me all the time Casey, as well. Mate, yeah. Casey's a fucking hero. But, yeah, yeah, I, I speak love to him. Casey's he rings me up, yeah. But he's, he's got head like a coconut. You want to punch that, his... that ain't an insult. The cunt's head is like a they, coconut. If they offer you 30 minutes to punch Casey's face in again, yeah. or they offer me a rematch with Cheeky Grant for 500 grand, <laughs> I'll see you <laughs> soon. they're like, yeah, but if you beat Cheeky Grant, there's more pride in that. I'm like, fuck that, I'm fine, Casey. Yeah. I want to like my face the way it is until I get more money for. You know, you know what it is, yeah? You can't... Anthony Joshua can't sit here and tell me he's all about legacy and wanting to be undisputed and then quibble about a couple of fucking... If he's not dumb, he's probably just like... No, he's not, what? but his managers and his promoters money. and his fucking TV platform... This, do you know this fight is What do you expect them to do? do you no, it's on Sky Do you expect them to... Anthony to go, listen, everyone, I know you want to see that, but I'd rather get paid more. I think... No, what I expect from him is... I'm scared of Wilder, so I'm not going to fight him. I don't think he's scared of I him. I don't think he is, no, but he's not going to say I that, I don't believe he? any boxer is legitimately scared of another boxer. <laughs> I don't know, if they ask him about a cheeky girl again. <laughs> no, but do you, know, do you know, obviously, I would say, to be a boxer, yeah, the dedication and the... You have to be a little bit crazy as well. Yeah. You have to have this undeniable belief in yourself. And, and if you're a world champion like Andy Joshua is, trust me, the motherfucker's not scared of Deontay Wilder. But... It, he wants to be everything on his terms. This is how I feel. It's not so much him. It's his platform and his promoter and everything. It has to be perfect for them. He's worth too much to too many people to, 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 to lose risk. at this yes, point. Yes, that's it. There you go. That's it. They that's need it. to. They need to. And look. what does that, that mean for them? Oh, it's gladiator for... when he ties. I don't know Russell Crowe. Why don't you look at me? I don't like Gladiator. You've never been to a football match. Shut your mouth, man. You've never been to a football match. Gladiator's like the greatest movie in the world. Anyway, oh, you're not entertained. Uh, <laughs> there's this scene anyway where he's going to fight this dude. The other dude stabs him in the back before the fight, and then goes up and waits for him and acts like nothing's happened. That's what do you think Andy's waiting for with Wilder. Thank you. Thanks for my beer, babe. Yeah, beer. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for my beer. Have you seen that dog? Cheers. Yeah. You're Cheers. keeping him up from his beauty sleep. That's we should live in the pillars. I'm going to have to sit up, and We've slid down the sofa more and more over this. I know. Over the course of this podcast. Bad fish. <laughs> bad fish. Bad fish. I call a lot of people a bad fish. Trying to convince my wife to stay on holiday was hard work. She's from Brentwood and she's all posh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not posh. I'm from. I'm from a place where we use bad fish as, a, <laughs> as an insult quite regularly. Yeah, bad fish. Thanks, like, what's a homosexual fish? <laughs> Hey, uh, what's that episode of South Park? <laughs> fish sticks. <laughs> you seen it? No. You ain't seen fish sticks? No. I like fish sticks. And hey, it's a gay fish. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, you're a gay fish. Sorry, we've gone way off track. Um, uh, I don't know where we were anymore. I don't know. Should we talk about how <coughs> Gary was humping a space hopper sized snowman? <laughs> he was. Um, it's a brave snowman. It's a brave snowman. I miss boxing. I need, I need some boxing to come back now on the telly. We need to watch some but fights. Tonight we've got some MMA. You're not, you're not a fan, are you? I might have to start watching it. The one man... There may be a reason for me to start watching the it. The one man that got me into MMA, British MMA, Paul Semtex Daily, my guy, is fighting tonight against a guy that I have mutual friends with. Is it on TV now? It's at Skype 3 in the morning. I'm not, I'm not, not now, yeah. put it on right now. It's on this and uh, it's in Florida, I think, or California. Or oh, something. nice. But yeah, so MMA is has been good, but boxing's been pretty dead. Yeah. Um, and my patience is wearing thin with boxing at the moment. I think it's shooting itself in the foot because all the talk has been negative. We have this shutdown over January. That Can was... I just stop you? You just done a whole podcast on negativity of the box. You sound like sound like that geezer from fucking Britain's Got Talent. Is that the negativity? Do you no, don't I don't it? watch Britain's Got Talent. No, me either. 
don't understand what the point you're making. <laughs> this podcast yeah. has been very negative. It, yeah, it has that. been negative, but I needed to get it off my chest. I need to rant so that I can flush out the negativity and bring in the positivity. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm about to fish. I'm about to fish. <laughs> <laughs> um, about to fish is a great word, you know. Is it one word? I'm about to fish. Is yeah. it one word? Yeah. B A W T I fish. Because you don't put a Y there, because it's not bashy fish, it's butter fish. It's not, it's not batty fish? No, it's butter fish. Butter fish. It's butter fish. It's not Indian it's either. Not, it's, it's not, not fucking Indian. Bar- it's butter fish. <laughs> it's butter no, fish. No, it's not it. It's butter fish. We've gone way off track. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. I've been old, then I? Um, that. Yeah, I think... I think, honestly, I think I'll get I my... I think it's because I've been on holiday, like, the whole... I think you did... Ruin, you didn't go on holiday, you went travelling. Well, went on a little old, you, you went travelling, there was no boxing... All these podcasts popping yeah, but up boxing, out of the I think what happened was everyone in the world knew that I was an holiday, so they didn't bother. Eddie no, yeah, AJ no, everyone just knew. They was like, what's the point? MTK definitely didn't. Rich ain't gonna know about it. Oh, they, they moved on. They were like, you on. They, they, he's been gone so long. They held up for a little while and they thought, you know what, we're going to have to move on. I don't know if he's coming back. Yeah, sounds right. And they were like, fuck it. You did the same. Yeah, I you, moved on. I didn't move on. That's why there was no pods about you. I missed you. Someone asked, why didn't you do it without me? A lot of people did. Quite a few actually you said we do it without Rich, so I can't do it without my right hand. I'm kind of glad you didn't. I haven't, I... I haven't got that Scottish prick no more. What's his name? Can't find name. That guy. Bo- Boxing socials, something. Can't remember that guy. Anyway, shout out that guy. Shout out that guy. You know you are. Um, I won't tag him. He's got a very good. <laughs> no, he listens. I hope he listens. He's got a very good project coming out soon. He's working hard on, so I love him for that. But what a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, on the podcast. probably on it, yeah. <laughs> on the boxing social one, maybe, I don't know. Boxing social's crazy It's called Scots. Fighting Talk. Uh, yeah. Or talk fight. Chat. Talk fight. Fight chat. Fight chat. Uh, mate. Yeah, listen. I have been a bit negative around boxing at the minute. I needed a break. I needed a detox. I just got to not read people's retarded comments all over fucking Twitter. Because social... Your dog stinks. I'm sure he fights. I don't have a dog, I have a horse. Your horse. Um, social media would li- people take it too seriously mate people treat social media like it's real life like they get really into it in that fucking a 25 tweet argument with a random geezer that lives I used to love doing that like, I used to love having rows with people about, about sports and stuff just for fun that's oh, mad mate people take it too seriously I'm not really about that to be honest with you nah. but listen hopefully we can have some positive news in the, in the, in the coming weeks we can, I've got positive news. Yeah, we can get our, our the the ball rolling on one or we've two other aspects. Going, we've yeah, got stuff going. we've got ideas, we've got plans. We're I've always come, come back to my real job again, which has been nice. Yeah, and um, we've got good people that want to help us as well. Yeah, and good people that we'd like to yeah. do. We've got some options. Man. We've got options, man. We're people that I love and respect, and that have had our back and will have our back in the future. And a lot of people have had our back, man. Listen, people listen to us and they tweet us, and like I said, for anyone who spends fucking five minutes listening to us, I appreciate that. At any time, because, you know, we just fucking talk, don't we, at the end of the day, just... Chat shit. Just chat shit. Our opinion. You get banged, do not you? <laughs> <laughs> not about my dog. Yeah. <laughs> chat shit, get gutted. Get gutted. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just for everyone who's looked at this dog on my social media, trust me, it does not do it justice. No. This dog looks like a big staff. He's not. He's actually a big German Shepherd size. It's the German Shepherd size, sized American Bulldog. That's nine months old. Yeah, he's like um. Fuck is that dog? Bull Mastiff. Mastiff. He's like a Bull Mastiff. Yeah, he is. his head's like a and fucking he's still boulder. Got, he's still he's got head like Casey Blair. He's still growing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think I'd rather punch Casey Blair though in the dog. What well, um yeah, what are we calling this podcast? Don't know. C words. I don't Some, know if something that. and horses. So the thing is, though, we've, I, I expected time. to call more people cunts. We've been than calm as well. It's been yeah, calm. Yeah, I think because we had a few beers and the wives are here in the next room. And, it's weird, isn't it? And you know what? I get more and more. I'm a bit bipolar, me. I get wound up when I'm on social media. I haven't looked yeah. at my phone for a few hours, and I'm calm now. Why did you? Why did you do that? Because I don't. I, I don't want to be as negative. I don't want to be negative. I really don't. I feel like when we have time apart, you get negative. So you blame you're my happiness. You're yeah, my happy place, I'll bring, Rich. I'll bring happiness to your life. Don't remember having before. Yeah, I've, I've had, I felt like this before, but that was I ha- nothing's changed. It's only got I worse. I don't like people being sad. No, I don't like that. Well, maybe be happy. All right, Doctor Phil. Be happy. All right, Trish. Be fucking be happy now. You are like Doctor Phil, aren't you? You're Maury. 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 Ricky Lake. 
Go <laughs> Ricky. Ricky like? Go Ricky. Go Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's got uh, any questions for like, is it like an agony art thing there? Yeah. If you've got any Gemini, questions. Like in the Sun newspaper, Dear Deirdre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> Dear that. Richie. Send us questions in for, for Dear Richie. And yeah, send us like, Dear Richie. Problems? Don't send boxing questions, Lou. Send Dear Richie questions. Yeah, like Dear Richie. Yeah. My name's Lewis and my boyfriend was out the other day. <laughs> Where was he? Um, I don't know how long this is going to be. Are we still calling it a podcast or should we just call it a rant? Because it's not really a podcast. It's so different. No format, no environment, lots of alcohol consumed. It's been very different. Very, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if people are turned it off by right now. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to listen Yeah, if much. you turned it off, I, I, you know, I respect you. I respect you more if you turned it off by now. If you're still listening, I'm kind of judging you, to be honest. <laughs> How far in is it? I don't know. There was like three different parts of it. It's probably an hour. It's probably an hour. Yeah. That'll probably do us. We'll wrapping up. What's, what we got coming up in boxing? You went the girl. Right. And then... Prediction? <sighs> Can't decide. The girl to roll back the years. And box him and win. The girl's big. Bigger. Slightly bigger, yeah. Awkward. Yeah. Um, Eubank's a little bit reckless. Predictable. He looks quite good under this new train. He's got a trainer for the first time in his career. Yeah, I see interviews about that the other day. Yeah. I see another interview with his dad saying he still thinks he can be like Floyd Mayweather. Which is pretty funny. That fell down the side of the couch, the mic. Yeah. What do you reckon? You, who are you going for? Put your, put your head on the... Put your neck on the line. Who's going to win? I think the girl, but I'd like to see Eubank win. Yeah, I think he's more big fights out there for the game. He's fresher. So you bet. He's fresh, and I feel like we can still see in a lot of more exciting fights. Whereas I think the gals kind of had enough. Yeah, I think he's had enough. Yeah, two. I don't think Chris two-time world been. champion, a real belt, like a real. I don't world think champion. the gals too old to box anymore, but I just think he's had enough. I don't think Chris has had enough. So I think Eubanks just. I'd like, I think the gals gonna should win, but I think I'd rather Chris win because he's got more lively fights out there for him yeah whereas i don't i think the gal's kind of had enough yeah no i understand i get your point do you I think the gal underachieved oh that's a good question or just didn't reach where people thought he would reach i mean he boxed badu jack who's you know underrated i think we only knew how good badu jack was after he'd been in his big fights do you know what i mean no one was really talking about him before. I he had get his big it, fights. but I get it. But do you think the gal, you know, you expected a star out of these, and they was kind of just, mm. you know, who's whose standards? Like, if you go, like for Kel Brook, for example, Kel Brook was a world champion. Has he underachieved? In my opinion, massively. Probably, probably as big as anyone in current boxers that at uh, that world well, level. Kel Brook never really did it for me. I never really got it. He he beat Sean Porter. Yeah, but I never. Yeah, and really Sean got... Porter's back world champion now, but it was kind of a one-off performance. I've never. Really we didn't look Kel at who he's beat since. I've never really got the Kel. And look, look at look at that. Look at Amir Khan's boxed. Yeah. How do people sit and look at them two and go, Nah, Kelbrook could knock him out. At least I get that Khan's been knocked out, but Jesus, Kelbrook has not boxed the people Khan's boxed. Nah. Don't fuck you. Peterson's, you Garcia's, fuck Maidana's, you. and fucking anyone that fights Maidana was a fucking tank. He's he was, he's been he had, coming back. He now. had barely a brain cell on his head, Maidana. He just comes swinging arms at you left, right, and centre, literally mindlessly. I remember when he boxed uh, the American Mexican. Oh, I was going to say Broner. No, Mexican slash American. Fuck was he? Rios. The one who does the um, acting and all that. Ortiz. Ortiz. That was one of the best fights. That was yeah. one of the best. He was well outclassed, well outclassed. Like, he was nowhere near as good, but he just... He's tough. Brute force and ignorance. I'm just going to keep coming, <laughs> I'll keep coming, I'm going to keep coming. I mean, can't box him, like, and beat him, so... Mm -hmm. That was a fight of the year, when it, 2010? Anyone think. that beats him, I'm like, okay, cool, like... What's the next show you're at? What show are you going to? What is the next show I'm at? What is the next available shows? So, I was due to go to the 2nd of March, Goodwin. But Linus has been moved, but it's I haven't booked anything. Shinkwin and McIntyre still on. The McIntyre still good. on that. Um, the 9th of March, oh there's a Goodwin show, which is good. But I, I, you know I, I Dia Mikey are fighting for the Southern Area. Two of my good, good oh, friends. Oh, I'll be at that. I'll be at that. In Brentwood. Well, unless Lee takes our no. media pass because we slagged them off today. I might take your media pass, but I've <laughs> yeah. still got my. Lee, well, can I've you... still got my friendship pass that yeah. you've just lost. Uh, that have you I lost just my... lost. <laughs> Shit. Lee, can you reply to this when I put this up and tell me if I've lost my media pass, please? If I have, then. Ouch. Can I say, right? Do you know what? Since I've been all day... Mate. 
Life is so much better without boxing, let me tell you. If a boxer's well, as, as, yeah. a life without boxing it is so much better. Let me tell you, there's boys, there's boys out there and I know that they'll come to the end of their career and they'll feel be gutted and they'll be feel sad <laughs> and this, that and the other. Let me tell you something. I'm <laughs> happier now than I've ever was boxing. Yeah. Ever in my entire boxing life. That's good, man. Mate. That's good. Mate, it gets worse or it gets better, trust me. <laughs> trust me, it's so much better, mate. No one has punched me in the face for months. I want to eat some burgers, I can eat some burgers, mate. Fucking hell. And it's, uh, it seems like, Rich, that was ages ago, like, who cares now, get over it. But in my life, actually getting on my life, fuck me, I still notice the differences. Yeah. Like now, like, wanna, it's, it's relevant to the podcast because boxers will all go through this. Yeah. My missus now, she'll go, do you want to get Nando's? Usually I'm like, oh... I don't know. I don't know. We'll be out there till half nine. I don't want to be asleep by ten. I've got, I got track at six in the morning. Yeah, like, I'm like, I'd be like that. I'll not miss a session. Yeah. But now I'm like, yeah. Can we stop for ice cream on the way to Nando's? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Welcome to my world, <laughs> mate. Life is so much better without having to fight. I'm so much better watching people fuck each other up than actually being <laughs> in there. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Oh, cheering to that. Cheers, brother. To not getting punched in the face. Yeah, mate. Trying to do some drunk sparring after. No, I'm fucked. No, good. That's a good idea. Good answer. Um, I think we should probably call it a day. We're quite far in again, um, and we've just been talking absolute nonsense. We've waffled. We have waffled. What waffles? That Gary, Gary the horse, C words, and waffles, or rambling. Because we said waffles once. We, yeah. can't <laughs> waffles twice. we can't just rambling. Jumanji. And now we'll call it. No. Gary Jumanji. Gary the horse. You gotta just say random words and then use C it. C words, Gary the horse, and something else. Right, this process we're going through now is something we go through every week. <laughs> I know. What, we what do we name it? We'll upload it and then we'll think of a name while it's loading yeah. and then we'll go. This ain't going up till tomorrow at some point, man. I got. Fuck. Oh. Alright. Anything else to add? Anything else you wanna say? No one's listening at this point anyway. No, this, is just, this is just for you and me. No one's listening at this point. Should we have a song to play it out of a song? Yeah, should we bring our wives in? No. Ask them who they think AJ should fight next. No, I ain't doing all that stupid <laughs> shit. No. How much percentage, yeah? If me and Richie were to Babe, share a biscuit... what do you think the split should be yeah. between AJ if, and Wilder? If, if you and me were to share a biscuit, I think I should get 60% Babe? of the biscuit. No, Babe? no more. No, we're ending if it If AJ there. fights no, Wilder, off. who do you think should get a bigger split? Wilder. Why? Why? Oh shit! <laughs> what? All right, we're ending it there. I'm not going through this shit. <laughs> Divorced. <laughs> do you want to give us the outro? You did the intro. You can do the outro. I think the outro should be my wife should be outro of this the door. Is, this has been a silly ass This comments. has been Gary the Horse, <laughs> Richard Gray, Sam O'Reilly with a Fight Talk podcast. We are out.